Good morning, Osage High School. Welcome back to another senior interview. Today, I'm here with Kit Westermeyer. Kit, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Caleb? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, so Kit, what kind of things are you involved in? I know you have a lot of leadership abilities. So what oh, kind yes. of, what do you use that for? So first and foremost, I'm Executive Vice President of Student Council. Um, I'm President of DECA. I'm in FBLA, French Club, Always Osage, and a bunch of other clubs like that. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, are you, do you have any uh, like time for any other extracurriculars after school or anything? Oh yeah, I'm in golf. I'm on the state champion golf team, and we're going to state on Monday. Congratulations. Thank that you. is so cool. <laughs> Good luck. That is awesome. Thank you. How long have you been in golf for? I have been in golf for about five-ish, six years. Wow. That is awesome. So yeah, no wonder you're going to state. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you definitely earned it in <laughs> senior year. Thank That's you. so cool. You're the only golf senior this year. Yes, I for am. For girls. That's <laughs> so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how long have you been in student council for? I have been in student council for only two years, um, but I do wish I joined sooner. Right. Yeah, a lot of people wish that too. <laughs> I totally agree. And so you're executive vice president. What does that role mean for you? Yeah, so um, it's a very big leadership role. Um, our president, Elizabeth Yoder, is absolutely amazing. She's such a hard worker. And being able to kind of be like um, a partner in crime and being able to help her and get her what she needs, and as well as taking initiative for the good of others, which is actually our quote that we go by this year. So um, being able to help people and just give back to the amazing community in here really means a lot. That's awesome. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, I love that you had that all like ready to say <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, and President of DECA, how did you get that? Yeah, so um, there were officer applications out and I was like, well, you know, I really like marketing. Um, some of the events that I compete in are for business and marketing. And so I was like, sure, why not? And then um, I talked to Mr. Jurgens, which was my teacher last year. And he was like, well, you might as well just run for president. And I was like, me, really? And then he was like, try it. And I was like, okay. So um, later that day, I just picked up an application and filled it out. And after they reviewed it, they were like, all right, here you go. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. No, that's really cool. Okay. Have you been in that for two years also? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And it's another one that I wish I joined sooner. It's so much fun. <laughs> that is so cool. What kind of things do you guys travel for? Um, yeah, so we have districts coming up. I'm not entirely sure where it is. I'm, I believe it was Jeff City because it was there last year. And then um, we go to state and then um, potentially make it to internationals, which is in Orlando this year. So okay. that's super fun. Wow. Um, we do a lot of fun events. We do fundraisers and some fun stuff like that. And we really work with a lot of like local businesses around the lake. And it's super fun to go out and actually do stuff. That's so cool. Wow, that is awesome. Okay. Are the commitments same for FBLA or is it something different? Yeah, no, it's the same thing. So um, DECA is kind of like a business and marketing and then uh, FBLA is future business leaders of America. So it's just like the same thing. They kind of just piggyback off of each other. Okay, cool. How long have you been in FBLA for? Two years as well. Okay. <laughs> no, that's good. Like halfway through high school, you discovered who you wanted to be, so you did as, oh, yeah. as much work as you could to be oh, who yeah. you want to be. And the girl that got me into it and everything is Jada. She graduated last year. Aww, I absolutely love her. I miss she her. is such an inspiration, and I just want to be like that to other class underclassmen that are looking to join like these clubs. That is so cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of people take after her, and we're all so oh, yeah. proud. We're so proud of Jada. I love her. That's so cool. And for Always Osage, what does, like, a meeting look like for you guys? Um. Yeah, so we gather during lunch. Um, I haven't been able to attend a lot of them right now because of golf and, right. you know, other things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so we talk about different coping mechanisms. Um, we sometimes eat outside for lunch just to get fresh air. Um, and so we just kind of get to know each other and really just – find new and inspiring ways for people to cope with anything that's going on in their lives. That's awesome. Oh, you guys have that positive impact on people. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Okay, good. So having all these leadership roles and being in golf and going to state, how does that make an impact on you? Um, it's definitely a big mental game. Golf is one of those sports where nobody yells and right. nobody cheers until it's all over. Right. And so um, it's almost like one of those things. It's you play with yourself, but you also play with your team. And the biggest thing on the golf course is to not be your own opponent or to beat yourself down. And so um, it really holds you accountable and see, like, being able to see how well you can play and how well you can be resilient through 
you know, a bad shot or a bad putt or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's it's super fun. Um, it's taken me a lot of places. Yeah. And a lot of places that I didn't think I could see. Oh. And achievements that I really didn't think I could achieve. So Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And so all your leadership abilities and having that um, mental strength for golf, how do you plan on taking that to after high school? Do you have a plan? Yeah. So um, I plan to go to college. And um, I've always grown up in, like, the real estate industry because my mom is a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm kind of, like, piggybacking off of that. Okay. Um, Especially with DECA and FBLA, it's helped me, you know, be super confident in being able to go out and make connections and talk to people. Um, I believe I'm really good, if you will. Yeah. Um, I speak really well. Um, I make really good sales, and it's just kind of something that I'm passionate about. You know, I really want to help people find, like, a place that they can feel safe in. That's so cool. (laughs) Good for you, though. Okay. Do you plan on taking golf to college also? Um, That's still kind of in the works. Okay. Um, I might have an offer right now. I'm not exactly sure, but... (laughs) Okay. but yeah, it's if it's not going to college for golf, I will still definitely be golfing. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll just see you on your own time <laughs> yeah. during spring break or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Kit go? She's on the golf. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> oh, okay, well, we'll see you on the course at State. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Kit, thank you so much for joining me. We'll of be course. rooting for you. You have a great day. Thank you. You too.